most of the problems that people have when they have diverticulitis is highly inflammatory diets, meat heavy, processed food heavy, heavy, dairy heavy, creates inflammation along the bowel, especially in these pockets, which can then get swollen shut, cause trapped uh, food particles in there, can get inflammation and infection in there. How can you heal from diverticulitis? So diverticulitis uh, is inflammation. So anything in that ends in itis. So uh, there's all this Latin in medicine just to make doctors sound smarter. Uh, but itis means inflammation, right? So diverticulitis uh, is you have inflammation of these diverticuli, which are pockets in your in your colon. So anything that can cause inflammation in the body can cause inflammation in the bowel. Um, if you have these pockets, sometimes something specifically irritated that as well. Uh, in general, what I do for diverticulitis is the same thing that I've done to reverse Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is really a very low inflammatory diet. I have not seen a problem where they can't eat flax or chia seeds. Um, first of all, we blend them. So there's no like seed to get stuck. Plus, uh, GI docs say that that's old news. It's not really a seed that usually gets stuck there. Uh, most of the problems that people have when they have diverticulitis is highly inflammatory diets, meat heavy, processed food heavy, heavy dairy heavy, creates inflammation along the bowel, especially in these pockets, which can then get swollen shut, cause trapped uh, food particles in there, can get inflammation and infection in there. So I would say the same thing that we do to bring down inflammation throughout the digestive system you would do there. If it's very, very inflamed, you might have to do some bowel rest. I mean, if people have a severe case, oftentimes they can't eat. Um, they might have to do water or fresh pressed juices until the pain comes down. And then I would start introducing smoothies. And, and then eventually when all symptoms are back to normal, then the more solid foods, that's the way I would do it.